morning. Welcome back to Ali's Digger Diary, another episode. Turn this light on. Oh, I've got a fan. Nah, <laughs> a fan. Weather's pretty miserable today, as you can see. Um, it's Wednesday. I was off yesterday. Van was away getting service yesterday. Uh, what can I tell you about that? Apparently my uh, under tray is in bad condition. <laughs> and that was about it. They said I needed new discs and pads on the front. Yeah, so I've just done the pads. Oh well, the discs were a little bit scarred. I don't know that, but I thought it'd be all right. Uh, so that might be to do next year. Anyway, I've got my um, fan motor. So that little gearbox where the spline goes in, that comes as one whole piece <coughs> with the fan motor. So that'll make life easier, putting it back together. Um, so that's what I'm gonna go and do this morning. And I've got that uh, exhaust brake actuator to put on it as well. I'm pleased I'm going where I'm going anyway, at least I know I can get under cover. It isn't very nice out here today. Right, chuck all this in the back. Still need to empty out from that service on Monday. Monday, yeah, Monday. Okay, if you didn't watch the previous video, um, basically this shovel was overheating and they noticed that the fan wasn't going round and have I got the bit in the van? Still do. Splines on that shaft there have stripped. Although I still don't know why that's happened uh, because I can't see any damage to the bearings or anywhere that the fan's been catching so we'll see when we put it back together. Um, but uh, yeah, first thing we need to do because this fan is hydraulically driven. You can see the pipes here. You can only just, it's more than dark like. Um, I'll get some torches shortly. Because the fan's hydraulically driven, and that's part of the, well, it's on the brake circuit as well. Uh, I've already done it, but what we do is we turn the ignition on and pump the brakes. That gets rid of all of the uh, stored up pressure in the brake accumulators. And then we need to relieve the pressure out the tank. That should mean we make less mess when we start taking pipes off. That's the plan. Here all that air's gone now. Right. Um, what I'll do is I'll mount the fan motor first and then swap pipes off the old motor onto the new one. And then I'll build up the fan and the guard and everything. Uh, so yeah, I'll get my tools out. A pair of gloves on. God, it's a miserable day, like. Look at that. Just a steady mizzle. A steady mizzle, drizzle, mist, yuck. So as you can see, this comes as one assembly. Um, so yeah, I couldn't get this bit on its own, or the, the shaft on its own, and then the shaft for the motor, it was just all one. Uh, which I'm not too upset about, to be honest, it makes it easy. It's just going to be four bolts and three pipes. We've got a case drain pipe here. Um, but first, I'll put my fan in the way now. Pull you out the way. Go and get me, get me torch ratched out with my toolbox. Cut these cable ties in the back of here. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll uh, drop this down out the way and do this one first. There we go. Oh, literally drop it. There we go. And um, we'll mount the new one on first, I think. Pop you over there. Uh, right, I'll go and ratch out the bolts. Can't get it the wrong way around because it's off centre. That should make life easy. 
Right, I'll put you there. Well, it is very slippery. Uh, and then cut this little cable tie, holding it all together. That way around. And another cable tie. Nice. A lovely working position. Always good. Just run that up. Fire all these bolts in. So I'm gonna. You'll have noticed in the previous video it came out on Wednesday and I'm just going to try and space them out a little bit more just so that we've got something to, something to stretch us through Christmas and towards the new year. Hopefully you'll enjoy this kind of look over my shoulder because this is all I've got to do today, this shovel. Hopefully. Um, and if I can't get my service tomorrow, I've got that seat suspension base to go and do. No, so I always tight. I never just rattle something up with the gun. I'll always try and put a bar on and just make sure everything's as tight as it should be. Okay. What I'll do now is I'll go and grab the fan. <coughs> Um, and we'll uh, build up the fan and then we'll swap swap these three pipes and fittings onto this new motor yeah just make sure that that shuts looks like it sticks out a bit further that maybe it's just because it's shiny and new I don't know it's just the same. Good. Okay, I'll uh, I'll pop back with some more bolts. So I've gathered up all my bolts. While well, that compressor's been building with air, and um, I've just been cleaning out these fins. I'll give it a bit of a shot of air, clean them out because fans are always balanced. So if you've got a buildup of muck in these sort of fins here, it might throw it off balance and perhaps but you would expect the blooming bearing to go. Uh, I mean that bearing wasn't in great shape. I'll show you it. There's no play on it and it spins freely, but there's a lot of gunk in there. I don't know why that's happened. I really don't. I regret cleaning the fan out on the step. Lovely. Right, we're going to put this on. So, first thing to go on is this spline. So on this shaft here, we've got a keyway. You can see we've got a keyway in here. And it's tapered, so you can't really get it the wrong way around. I just need to get it on this uh, shaft here. There we go. And then put this thing on. And we'll give it a shot with this. Ha! Huh. The old one was 21, that looks like it's 22. Hang on. Okay, we'll try again. 22. Going around that way. 
area. I don't know if that ain't the right way around. No. That way around. Phew, that was nice if you were wearing uh, headphones. Sorry about that. Good. Get those pops out. Oh, right, next is the fan bolts. Mm, all the washers have come off. One. Let's go on this way around. Get it somewhere in here. There we go. There we go. Tell you what I will be looking for over Christmas, a magnetic phone holder to hold the phone onto metal. So I've got that tripod and it's grand, but it would be so much quicker and easier just to mount it on something metal with a magnet. I'll just run the up sort of finger tight with the gun and I'll put my uh, ratchet on it. We'll just spin it and just look. Make sure it's running true. And we'll tighten them up in opposites. Which is good practice to do it in opposites when you're doing something like this. See if you're doing like a flywheel or out like that, you always do it in opposites. Bell housing bolts, try and do them in opposites rather than go all the way around the clock. And that just ensures that it's getting pulled down evenly. There we go. Lovely job. Right. Put the guard bolts on. I don't think there's a right or a wrong way around for this. I know, and I put this bolt in here, see if any of the others want to line up. Yeah, there is a right and a wrong way, look. That's the right way around though. Yeah. Oh, right, now we've got this on. We'll just spin it and make sure it's not gonna hit anything. Lovely job. Right, shut this door now. With all my stuff. So I'll just give you a little nugget of information. This is the cooling pack. It's not all just one radiator, it's separated into four. And um, so at the top we've got the charged air cooler, and we've got the coolant, the radiator, then we've got hydraulic oil cooler, and at the bottom here we've got the transmission oil cooler. Now because this one sits down quite often. We'll, I say quite often, when it's not kept up on top of, this one here block up down in the bottoms here and we start to see transmissions overheating. And uh, you'll say to the body, is the uh, radiator clean? Oh yeah, yeah, it's grand eye. And then you might turn up, have a look and it's all built up around here. And um, so that's one to keep on top of is keeping this one clear the rest are pretty well looked after um, but yeah definitely transmission temperature is something to keep an eye on and that is generally nine out of ten times the uh, root cause of it I have done a couple of you do have a thermostat for the transmission oil so once the oil gets above I think it's 60 degrees it'll open and then let the oil through the cooler here so 
just something to watch out for. Right, finished in here. We'll shut this door. Make sure it's still turning freely. There's nothing catching. There isn't. Right, uh, what's the best way to do this? Take that pipe off and that pipe off. Blank them. That one's going to be going straight to the tank, so that'll be a messy little tinker. And we'll swap these fittings out. Okay, so I'll just pop these rubber caps out of here. He says. Always fiddle. I'll put it on my radar for next year if you want to let him know it won't be this year now. Uh... Salesman on the phone. back together happy days Aye, that was my salesman reminding us that uh, Christmas party this afternoon not to miss it so <laughs> should be all right like should be all right there's another little job to do but that'll be for next year now it's another just passing job when I'm out west remind me next year when I'm out west there's a little six and a half tonner to uh, go and service 500 hour service, how much is it? I don't know, I just, I just, I just fit the filters, spin the oil, spin the oil, fit the filters. Right. Hopefully you've enjoyed that little over the shoulder job. I'll speed bits up where I'm not talking, it just looks tedious and I'm struggling. And, uh, well, you'll have already seen it now. Right. Well, not start it up yet because what I want to do next while the engine's cool, 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 is uh, do this exhaust brake actuator. It's all gummed up with sand in here, look. Yeah, there we go. Look here. Whoa, right. I'll tell you some stories in here next. Okay, so I'll tell you the story about this. This is the exhaust brake actuator. Um, it's uh, electronically controlled. These pipes here are cooling pipes because it's on the exhaust system, it, uh, it gets hot. So we've got coolant going through this motor actuator um, to keep it cool. The job of the exhaust brake isn't to slow the machine down. It is to raise temperature of the exhaust gases before it goes into the after treatment system. We need nice hot exhaust gases for all the science to occur in here. So um, this will restrict the exhaust gas, which then 
raises the temperature. Here we've got the upstream knock sensor. So this is reading what the uh, parts per million of the NOx gas It's reading that uh, and that is sort of untreated exhaust gas straight out the engine basically after the turbo and um, and it goes up through here this is where the uh, our blue injector is right the way through and out where we have got the downstream NOx sensor and that downstream NOx sensor is checking that the exhaust has or the exhaust gas has been treated efficiently and effectively and the readings from that will alter how much add blue has been put into the uh, machine etc into the yeah uh, SCR so um yeah this is an important little gadget um and at the moment it's sort of fairly stiff now i've had this arm off and this bit's free enough down here this motor isn't it's quite notchy only just move it um so yeah that's what we're going to change out it's just on a plug in behind here which is nice and tricky to get to and that's why i don't want to do it after checking that the fan is working because all of this is going to be hotter and also the coolant will be hotter as well so it's cooled down in the time it's taken me to do that fan at the back. Um, so yeah, right, 15 mil and then there's three 10 mils, two pipes, but to get that 10 mil mountain bolt out, I need to take that adapter out of there. Okay, that's what it looks like removed. A bit of coolant about, but uh, I haven't lost any. Well, I say I haven't lost any, I haven't lost much. Be lucky if I've lost a cup full. Um, I'd imagine you'd be encouraged to, I don't know, six and two threes, isn't it? There's three bolts here you can remove, take it all off. Or there's three bolts here to remove to take it off that bracket. Um, this bottom one down here, you're doing it blind from behind here. It's a bit of a bit of a, a fiddle, but um, that's the way I do them. Because if I try and take that one out, then I'll need to remove this sensor. Um, and that'll be hot and cold and hot and cold, expanding, retracting, expanding, retracting. And yeah, there's a there's a chance that the threads might pick up. Uh, so that's why I do it <coughs> that way. Right, take this to the van, squeeze through. I can fit through that gap. Can you believe that? Um, we'll let uh, pop this on the bench and make sure it's. Same or similar. Yep, good. Put this one back over. Not in the same position. Yeah, so those shafts are in the same position as well. Grand. That's only one way the shaft will go on anyway, I suppose. It's slotted. Squeezing it. Right. Get that slid in. I'll show you a bit more in. I'll maybe try and put you on a time lapse up here or something. So we can get it jammed into a position. Again, if I had a if I had a magnet mounted phone holder, I could just click it up there. But anyway, I'll try and get you set up for a time lapse. There we go then, it's all built back up. I had to adjust this uh, arm a little bit just so it would fit nicely. 
what's happened is you can see in the bottom of here there's a little bit of wear on there where the stock is so should be okay now I think um yeah I think we're good to try and start it the next job I'll gather up all my tools first I right, just put all my yeah, bits away but question time quiz question what does WD-40 stand for? Put that down in the comments if you think you know and I will uh, tell you whether you are right or wrong. I know the answer. Only because I listened to a podcast not too long ago and there was a question on it relating to that. Um, so yeah, I learnt something. Right, check all these away. Right. Pretty sure I can start it. So when we start it, obviously we've uh, got rid of all the brake pressure. So I don't think the fan will kick in straight away, but it'll need to build the pressure in the accumulators to 140 bar before the fan will kick in. And um, we can also have a look for any coolant leaks. Uh, now with that uh, actuator, can't just rightly remember Oh, the operator left the cab open while I was doing that fan and I came round and I thought, better shut that cab door. Um, I can't just quite remember whether or not uh, the error code will need to be reset with the scan you tool. I'm pretty sure I've done them before and it'll reset itself. And it's still there just now. That's not good. Might need to pop back in whenever. Oh no, it's gone. There you go. I was just about to say, I might need to pop back in with the scanny tool just to clear it or reset it, but uh, it's, it's it's figured it out. It knows it can work now. Um, right, so that's good. That's good. That is good. Let's go and have a look. There we go, that's the fan. Woohoo! Just going out of there. Good. You can see the exhaust brake sort of sat half open there, look. That's a good result, and what's been even better is I've not been uh, out in the rain. Oh! Okay, I'm going to take it for a little run round, and then I'll uh, open those doors back up and make sure that the coolant isn't leaking out of here, because those fittings were a bit crusty looking. I'm well, pleased with that. Wait, I'm just trying to shut this lid and you don't need to see that. Okay, I've been for a run up the quarry and back. Uh, the machine's nice and hot. Cooling fan's still going round, so that's good. I can smell coolant, but I did spill coolant on the exhaust and the manifold, so it may just be that. But I'm just going to double check it. In here, temperatures all look good. Got the transmission there and the engine uh, coolant towards us. So happy days! Right, I'll get out of this uh, wet suit, dry suit, and uh, get back to Carlisle.
Okay, I'm back through to Carlisle. Um, just been getting rid of my waste oil and filters. And now I'll put some more engine oil on the van. Still haven't got that fella booked for that service. It's annoying that. Um, so I have a feeling I'll, uh, what am I gonna do tomorrow? I have a feeling I'll put that seat suspension in and there is actually a DX27 that I've just learned about. I might be able to get that for a service too. Um, I was gonna give the van a rinse off as well. Um, Tomorrow's my last day, so I'll do that tomorrow afternoon, I think. Yeah, the wash is busy anyway, so that's answered that question. Ah, oh, right, I'll round the video up for that for today. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, more videos coming along shortly.